Zoe had her own character. She was opinionated, but in, in a nice way, um, fiery, but she also had this soft, loving nature as well. She absolutely adored her children and, and her family. She was almost like gravity. The world revolved around Zoe. You name it, Zoe had friends in a thousand different circles. She was the glue that held everyone together. So I have a mole in exactly the same spot as Zoe's. And I know Zoe went because it started bleeding her lung. But she had been reporting this mole, we found out after from about five years before. She just kept getting told by the doctors it was just um, a skin tag. So they dismissed her. She then went back again. They didn't listen again. And then they said, if it's bothering you, just have it cosmetically removed so it, you're not itching it anymore. She got told not to worry, so she didn't worry. Paid to have it removed. But I do remember Zoe calling two weeks after it was removed and asked them what the result was. And they said, we don't test those. It was on the 4th of April and she'd called in the morning and she was going, oh mum, I'm really, really sick, I'm really ill, I feel ill, my stomach is really hurting, my side's hurting. She sent me a Snapchat actually at about half past two in the morning. She was laying there in the hospital in a hospital gown with a mask on. And then they scanned her and obviously the cancer was found. So the oncologist just said to her, Zoe, you've got stage four melanoma cancer and it's terminal. So they did start the immune therapy the week after, but um, obviously that didn't work. It's so important that Zoe's story is heard because nobody should have to go through what she did. It could have been prevented, it should have been prevented, and that's what Zoe's law is about. We put a lot of stuff on Facebook. One of Zoe's friends, Leah, she started Zoe's Law, trying to bring awareness to everyone and, and get it out as far as we can and as wide as we can. I created some uh, car window stickers with Zoe's Law written on, sunflowers, obviously, <laughs> um, with a live QR code. So when it's scanned, it takes them directly to the petition which Stuart set up. And the more signatures we get, you know, we're going to be listened to, um, and then hopefully this law will be changed.